What is up, everybody? It is your boy Nakari, and um, I gotta say, there has been one grueling plot hole that Sonic X refuses to address, and they're very cavalier about it when it came out. Like, look, 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 man, Sonic X is not really a new series, it's really, really old, but I have feeling like, I feel like I had to speak on it since it's the most prominent Sonic show out there, and um. This is something I've been wanting to bring to the attention of many people. I don't know if it's been clarified or stated or even talked about lately, but or at all. But anyway, we're going to address it. It's called the biggest plot hole in Sonic X. And uh, basically, it's like this. You know how Eggman, right? It's always on Morbius with uh, Sonic and all the other, like, hedgehoggy and uh, talking anthropomorphic animals and stuff like that. Well, um, I have this weird little theory that, uh, well, not a theory, it's just like, it's just a, like I said, I'm just stating a plot hole. The plot hole is here. How is it that Eggman is the only human on Morbius or whatever the hell world they come from in Sonic X? I don't know what it's called, but the canon name of it is more, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, basically, how is it that Eggman is the only human there? Like, at all? Like, so to speak? And um, it's kind of weird because in the games, it's just that Sonic and all his other people, they live in the same world as humans. Well, at least sometimes stated by the creators. And which is kind of weird, not going to lie on that. But apparently Shadow was the only hedgehog or anthropomorphic animal who's not from Morbius and uh, who's from the human world. And that being said, he was created by Professor Gerald Robotnik, a.k.a. Eggman's grandfather. But here's the kicker, right? Here's the thing that makes it a plot hole. Eggman's grandfather was from the real world, which would imply that Eggman and Maria was also from the real world. And, and in the games, in, in, in uh, Sonic Adventure 2, this wouldn't be a problem. But in Sonic X, it's established that uh, Sonic and all his other pals are, are from a different dimension or whatever. Basically meaning that there's no way in hell this shit could be possible. And there's no way that Eggman's father, I mean grandfather and then father were able to bring Eggman to a different dimension without the use of the chaos symbols because they didn't exist in that world. So, I'm confused. How is this even possible? Like, this has never been addressed. And they've always just been like, oh, whatever, you know. We ain't gonna speak on it, you know. Like, they ain't gonna pay attention to their kids. And uh, this show is for kids. And normally, regular people wouldn't speak on this shit. And then, like, when the worlds were converging and shit at the end of the season or whatever, they all went back to the regular world and stuff and even Shadow. But I'm confused. Like, how? And, and it's... It isn't Shadow's home in the real world or the human world? Question mark? It made no sense to me. And it still makes no sense to me. Like, how is that even possible? And then, like, why would Shadow just leave his original home to go to this world where he's nothing but animals? Even though he's a talking hedgehog who's quote-unquote the ultimate life form. I say this because this part literally centers around Shadow's even very existence like what the hell man like honestly it never made any sense to me but uh let me know if they did clarify this in the show i never heard them did so write comment subscribe do all that good stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video sorry if it's a little bit weird and different but sonic s is anime so uh yeah there's that look it up and yeah see y'all later and uh bye later